Hey guys, <clears throat> Inverted G here. Just wanted to share with you my bungee launcher today. So we're actually not in my shop, in my driveway, in my front yard power line work. So what we have here is a generic bungee launcher setup. Got a bungee launch airplane scratch build that I have. And uh, just to show you a basic setup of the way things work. So the rails right here are made out of just generic one inch P or three quarter inch, three quarter inch PVC pipe. Now you can use the PVC cement, but uh, my PVC cement was old and it got a little brittle over time. So here you can see, I actually put this one back together with Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue will work just fine. Just make sure you sand the surfaces before. But you wanna make sure that the top of your rails are so perfectly smooth. So what I've done here is I actually took a miter saw. I had went ahead and glued here and took a miter saw to cut off this end. The reason you want that is if you have this lip that's right here, as the plane comes up, it's going to hit that edge and it's going to mar up your plane or possibly make you crash. It's just that bump. You want it perfectly smooth coming all the way across as you launch. So what I actually have on my setup is a T at the bottom. And the reason I have the T is because if I have a different size plane, I can move it that way or I can make it more narrow, whichever way I need. But for the most part, you know, when you want launch, it doesn't have to be too terribly sturdy. Um, so on the front end, this is just a piece of scrap lumber that I actually found in the parking lot of a Home Depot. And, uh, just got some like conduit holders that'll hold the three quarter inch pipe and uh, drilled a hole in each end for a nail to fit in. And that's what holds down so that it doesn't launch away. Okay, so that's the front end. Now moving on back, what I've actually done here is there's a, a pin Again, you can get this at the Home Depot, and it's got it's got multiple holes in it. There's a better shot of it. Okay, and so I just put that up through the bottom, and there's a board on the bottom side that's screwed in to hold it in place so it doesn't fall down. So what this is, this is my safety and my release mechanism. So the way that it works is you have your loop of string and then you put your safety in, okay? So then you're gonna actually pull on your bungee and there'll be tension on this. And then this loop will actually go to the tow hook on your airplane, okay? So then once you're ready to go, once your bungee has tension on it, you'll actually release your safety cotter pin and it will remain that way until you come down here and you've got both hands on the transmitter and you just step on the board. So showing you from the side, you can see I've got a regular old hinge, just a plain old hinge. And that's all it is. It's that simple. Now, it is a little bit awkward getting it to and from the field, but all of this breaks down pretty flat and it's pretty easy to transport. So again, on the back end, I have my nails as well, my adjustable rails, and I've got a pretty long lead going to my safety cotter pin. So I have a single piece of 20 something foot, uh, Surgical tubing, again, at the at the Home Depot, you can get it pretty easily. I've got a fish scale and tape measure combo, but it goes up to 50 pounds, but that's way more than I need. I've only ever put 10 pounds on, on mine. So basically, I have this big nail, big, big nail, because that's going to hold the majority of your tension on the scale end. So I have a painted pink on the end so that if the bungee pulls the 
scale away from the nail after the launch I can go back and easily find the nail also so that somebody won't trip on it and hurt themselves. So there, then you'll just pull back until you've got some tension, however much tension. For this little plane I put 10 pounds of tension but for demonstration we'll just do 5. So there you have, it's that easy, okay? And that little bit of tension isn't going to be too terribly dangerous. And then put our airplane on the stand, on the launch rail. Look at my garden real quick while I get the tow line on. So that's what it looks like on the stand, ready to launch. So we have our bungee connected to the release pin, and it's held down by the safety cotter pin, so it's not going to release until I'm ready, and then it goes up to my tow pin in the airplane, and I'll get into more of that later. But this is the basic setup, and I'll demonstrate the bungee real quick without the airplane. Alright, so here we are. So gently, we release the cotter pin. See, and it just, it hangs out there. But you see as I step on the hinge back here, it's going to pivot this board up and it's going to release. So here, I'll show you. Three, two, one. See? See, and then sometimes it's a lot easier to spot my hold down. Alright, so those are the basics. Basics behind bungee launch. Now, one thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that your rails are far enough apart to clear your propeller, but not so far that you're going to damage your tail. So, you have to remember that when this takes off, it's going to pull the airplane and want to push down your horizontal stabilizer onto the rails, okay? So some people like to have that so that you get more of a higher alpha on launch to get more height. I prefer a straight out approach. So I actually narrow my rails as much as possible so that it stays put and it doesn't interfere with the launch. You get a nice straight out approach. And I honestly didn't measure the front and back legs. I just put it together. Said, yeah, that looks about right. So experiment, see what you want. You may come up with something that's more adjustable than this, but it works for me just fine. Um, thanks again for watching. Hope this was educational. Hope someone can use this on their flight test Saab Viggen. And uh, happy flying.